So writing and passing your two GCC exams doesn't automatically get you the certificate. I'll take you through what to expect. Okay, so one of the big misconceptions is that as soon as you write your law exam and you pass it, and as soon as you write your factories practical exam and you get the minimum 50% requirement for a pass, that you're automatically a GCC certified engineer. So there is a process to follow before you're deemed a certified engineer for you to actually get your certificate from the Department of Labor. Comment below if you managed to get your certificate back on time or if you're still struggling to get it back from the Department of Labor. So as some of you guys might know, you don't actually write your exams with the Department of Labor, you write and accredited examination stations, right? So they will issue you with your transcripts. So you'll write your exams in June or you'll write your exams in November and you know that you've got your three years to pass your exams. Check out some of my previous videos on some of the initial processes and also how you can guarantee that you pass your exams. But in this video, I'm just going to share with you guys, after you get your transcripts, so after you write and pass your two exams, what do you then do to get your actual certificate? So ensure that you write your two exams within the three years that you've been warranted or granted to write the two exams. So the first is your law exam and the other is the factories, depending on you. So each individual is different. You can decide to write both in the one month or you write one in June, one in November. I will share some further strategies on what worked for me. Um, so to help you guys and you don't have to go through the same schleps and the same processes and the same stresses and strains that I did. One thing that you must not do is just sit back and relax and think everyone's gonna contact you and make sure that all your documents, all your results and the entire process is you know, being followed seamlessly. Be sure to follow up, get on top of your college, find out when the results are coming out, call the Department of Labor, find out when they're issuing the results and when the examiners have, you know, they've marked the papers, when they've been calibrated, when they've been assessed. So do ensure that the biggest thing that you do is that you follow up. Obviously give them sufficient time to complete the process, but don't sit back and relax and wonder why it's taking you six months, 12 months, or even two years to get feedback. The results will be sent back to the college where you sat for your examination and they'll publish the results. After you found out that you're successful and you've passed both your results, you must then request that college to give you transcripts of your results. So ensure that you've got your reference number and proof of both, both exams and that you've passed and that you're successful and you email it and send it back to the Department of Labor. So it is very difficult to get a hold of them, but here's the name of an individual that you can contact who I found very useful. You'll get an official and unique certificate number depending on whether you're mechanical or electrical, or even if it's for mind. Then only will they issue it. So originals to your address when you applied, which you had stipulated. And you can also request for them to scan through copies. What you can also do is request a career so you can career your results back to yourself. Yes, it's very possible that you get your certification and you don't necessarily use it or you're not the point of GMR2 for a couple of years because someone else is. But what you want to do is make sure that you have it with you as soon as possible. You file it and keep it as part of your qualifications. And obviously, you know that you can always use it once it's time and when you're ready. Remember, your career is your own, your qualification is your own, so own the process, lead it, follow up, get in contact with other individuals. Feel free to contact me on LinkedIn or you can send me a direct email. My details are below and I can share some insights and some of the processes that I followed to make it a little bit easier. So getting your GCC certification or getting certified as a competent engineer can be as long as a four to five year process or you can get it a minimum time and ensure that even the administration of the process is as quick and sharp and straight to the point as possible. So it doesn't have to be extensive and long, as long as you know exactly who to go to, how to follow up, when to follow up, and the right channels to follow. So you could cut it down from four to five years to a year and a year and a half max. And this does include writing the exam, passing the exam, getting your papers marked and getting your results back, as well as getting the actual certificate, which is really what you want at the end of the day. Remember to like this video and share with anybody who might find this information useful. If you haven't subscribed, do press the red button below so you can stay in contact with more content and more videos that I'll be uploading. Remember to live your best life, learn as you grow and lead for change. Shout.